Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, and welcome to our new studio by the way, we're taking a look at the app Bookie. So Bookie is very similar to Blinkist and a whole bunch of those as sort of apps, a book summary app. It takes the key bits of the book and puts them in an easy to read summary for you, as well as being able to listen to the audio of that. But there's a few little differences that make this one sort of stand out apart from the rest. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so you can see here as we jump in, we're here at my book that I was reading just before. So if we go back from that, here we have a little summary of it. So you've got the description of it. Now, one of the things that you can see here that sets it apart right away is that once you read through, you can do a little bit of a quiz on that book, which I find is a fantastic way to make sure that you took the key information away from that book and that learning. So here we can read as we were doing, and you get like five little chapters per book. As you can see, if we go through, Mark is finished. So I've only gathered two books. So out of seven days for the free trial, I've been so busy, I haven't actually been able to finish all the books, but I've been going through a lot of what they've got. So now the quiz unlocks, as you can see here. So let's just go yes for all of them. Okay, so here we got an error review, two out of five. And yeah, it makes sure that you took away the key learnings from the book. And I love that. I haven't seen that in another app. And I love that little extra attention to detail to make sure that you are getting what you're reading and you're taking away from it that important stuff. Now, if we go listen. Today's book. Let's have a brief review. We started with how to improve personal effectiveness and achieve private victory. In short, we should be proactive, start to change the things within our control and gradually enlarge our circle of influence. So as you can see there, beautiful, clear audio. You can speed it up. Go forward 30 seconds, you can go back to the chapters, all your standard sort of things. And there you got your chapters there, so if you want to go back to number two, let's stop. easy. Speed up, or go back to the text itself, and back to listen. Start with the first part. And then you In can share, download, personal save this one to the library, mark it as unfinished, or change your voice. So US, so you've got the US and the UK. So English people are going to be able to understand this wherever they're from, hopefully. <laughs> then if we go back and if we go to, that's something different once again. So here is the main screen that we normally come to. So I've already seen what the books look like and what they do, but here we've got, one's for me, that they pick through the algorithm because once you open it up to, you go through and pick what your goals are out of this. What do you want to improve on, whether it's health, wellness, uh, management, business, personal development, and a whole bunch of topics up there, as you can see. So art and creativity, and we've got a whole bunch of books there. So you can see once again that they're not the original covers. So once again, it's that little bit of a copyright issue with that. And then you can search for your books up there. And go through, you've got some key quotes in there. So, and that takes you to the book that it's from, which I think is a nice little idea. Book of Misbehaving. So, that's very easy, very fun way to find a new book for you, if that quite resonates with you. Then if we go to Topics, here we have, so this is its own little inbuilt sort of social media platform in there. So, which is better? So, you can check your answers in there that people have come up with, which is more important to sex, opportunity, or hard work. Check your top answers. And you can see by the likes, nope, the topic's ended, so I can't <laughs> hit that, which one's the most popular. Now you see here, if anyone could read each other's mind, would the world be a better place? View, and what's this person said? So let's like that. <laughs> um, and I can give that a thumbs up because all men are criminals, apparently. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I disagree with that. So my thing went up there, onto disagree. And there's five days left for that topic. Now from there, you can share that one or you've got the information about that as well. So if you win the topic, more or less, or get the most likes or whatever else, you can win a free premium subscription. And then you've got library. So this is basically your little wish list. Then you've got the ones that you've downloaded, collections, notes, and quotes that you've saved. So you can discover that. 
So if I heart that one, then it comes into my library. And then you've got me. So here is a little challenge that they've recommended for me. I didn't pass this challenge, but if you read 21 books or a book a day or whatever it is, you can then help kids in Africa with books as well. So I love that fact that they're putting a challenge out there for you to do that and create some real world difference. And so here too, you can see my subscription and that it is $97 a year. So about $1.80 a week or 16 monthly or $262.99 for a lifetime subscription. So is it worth it? Once again, that's gonna come down to you, how much you are able to use the app and take away from the app there as well. Uh, from here, you can see your, youth, your weekly growth report and my top category and the focus areas. So here are the areas that I've chosen to focus on and what it seems to reckon is my favorite. So psychology and happiness, finished one about emotional management and mental health, get out of you, and to know myself. And so these ones I haven't touched yet. So psychology and happiness, general, positive thinking, and so on and so forth. Up here you got your little notifications too that it will send you as a little reminder thing as well. Check your weekly topics and your growth report. And yeah, that's about it. Book summaries that you can go into, have a look at the description, see if it sits you, all the little things that it's going to cover, and whether you want to read or mind map that as well. So what really are the chunks that are being given to you? And then there's also an Amazon link to be able to buy the actual book or audio book. So all up, I think Bookie is a very decent app, very good very robust. One of the only cons that didn't happen while I was using it there is sometimes I've gone into gone into the app, turned my phone or as I'm putting my phone down, it's gone into landscape view. And then as it's gone back, it's crashed and just exited the app. That has happened twice, I think, to me. So that's just a little glitch in the app, in it there. And another thing too is, where is the books that I've read? Why don't they go to a certain place in my little library, like completed books? That'd be the only little thing I'd add. So I can go back to that if there was a particular phrase or chunk of information that I wanted to rehash again. It'd be much easier to go, okay, completed, I completed that like the other day. So I wanna just get clarity on that bit of information. I've gotta go search for that book. I've gotta go find that information once again, rather than just bang, bang, bang sort of thing. So just a little bit of a misstep or if I forgot what the name of the book was. But that's about the only cons I can find with it. I love the growth challenge and the challenges that they put in place so you can actually go help real world people as well. That's such a huge step. And that makes me much more likely to purchase a premium subscription. The quality of the books and the audio and everything else is top notch. The information I found is pretty relevant to the subject or the situation. Having read the seven highly effective habits of people, I know I got that, I butchered that up, before, I know those information nuggets uh, and the key takeaway points that I had for myself and they're in there for you, ready to digest in half an hour rather than hours because that is a huge book. So all up, I would give Book Key a nine out of 10. It has impressed me. The price is a bit of a, Bit of a drawback, a hundred bucks a year, sorry, is a lot to pay, but I mean, if you're paying $30 a book, well, there's the price of four books, which you can do in four days if you've got the time. But that is book key. I was really pleasantly surprised by it, and I love the quizzes as well, because that just makes sure and solidifies in you that you understood what the book was about, and you're able to take that away. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on Bookkey? Have you used it? Would you use it? Is this probably the best book summary app that you've seen? For me, yeah, it is one of the better ones. Like right up there. You know, I'd even put this above Blinkist. But anyway guys, leave a comment down below. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.